Hey guys, hey guys, what's up? Uh, so we just finished the second part of Monstro. Um, so this is like the... I guess the, the mini treasure hunt in Monstro. Anyway, the waters have receded, if you saw in the last vid. So now uh, it's just a matter of getting to the planks of water that just now uh, erupted. This is why I didn't do it when I first came in here, because... Uh, once again, this is... I don't know, man. I really don't know. I, I'm just really annoyed by a lot of the platforming. It's not really smooth here. But once again, like I said, I'll try not to bitch too much. Uh, there's a nice blue trinity here. There, there's also another trinity that I guess you'll see sooner in the video or later in the video. Um, it's on top of the ship, uh, the cabin of the ship that your pedal's in. Um, you can't really get to it though until you have glide or maybe you can get to it but I've never been able to get to it without glide so I kind of just skip over it now um but yeah the, the two treasure chests that we got and then the trinity so or did we just get the trinity and then whatever it doesn't even matter um yeah also don't forget this I mean you kind of can't forget this it's kind of hard to forget that that's the high jump ability, the shared ability. So now, uh, what you do is you just equip it in that. It's really that easy. Um, and so now, our heroes can jump really, really high using a, a nice, cool somersault. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Um, <laughs> now you can access this chest, and there's another one, I believe, over to the left. Let me, yes, that one. And that one's a bit trickier to get to, although, you know, it's not, like, impossible. But, um, the only reason it's tricky is because of the darn platforming. So, once again, you gotta do some maneuvering. Uh, but it's not that hard. Uh, after all, you kinda... Do have to... I guess I do have a bit of trouble getting that one. Uh, I'm not sure if I quit or not. I forgot. Uh, I probably do. Nope, I don't. I get it. And yeah, you get this neat treasure chest up here. Uh, and then you're able to continue on. Continue on with our day. And also with the, uh, the mission of rescuing Pinocchio. Now, I, I just went and sped this up because it's another uh, sort of just like a fighting room. Not to mention there's also a, a, a blue trinity in the middle, so I don't miss that. Don't miss that. Anyway, yep, continue to climb. Uh, the more you climb, the more Heartless show up. Uh, I guess this is kind of a fun room. You can try not to like hit the bottom or whatever when you're fighting. But either way, uh, just keep rising to the top. More Heartless are going to spawn. Um, yeah. Like I said, it's kind of annoying, but not really. It's not that serious. You know? Just a couple of jumps and whatnots. Ah, I do love super fast, heartless killing. Soothes the soul. Calms one's mind. Now, what I usually do is I use like a... a not a trophy. A tent or a cottage before heading up in here. But I actually do it by mistake. I just jump up straight into the, the next room. And, uh, I mean, it doesn't really make a difference because, you know, it's not like I die or anything. But, uh, just so you're prepared, yeah, usually before I do that, <laughs> I jump up into the next room. Uh, wow. Usually before I jump up into the next room, I use a tenor. I use a cutscene. Hey, let Pinocchio go, Riku. A puppet that's lost its heart to the heartless. Maybe it holds the key to helping Kairi. How about it, Sora? Let's join forces to save her. We can do it together. What? You'd rather fight me? Over a puppet that has no heart? Heart or no heart, at least he still has a conscience. Conscience? You might not hear it, but right now it's loud and clear. And it's telling me you're on the wrong side! Then you leave me no choice. 
Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Germany, I'm not gonna make it. Oh. Oh. oh, I guess I'm okay. Huh? Yeah, so once again we're fighting this guy. Um, this time he's a bit more menacing because uh, because of the vomit, or not the vomit, but well, yeah, he does do like a vomit attack as you just saw, but also because of the stomach acid on the side. If you spend too long in that time, um, you actually get you do a good bit of damage, especially in the, the harder difficulties. Like you do a good bit of damage, and that is something you really want to stay away from. Um, so when you when you land in there, just jump out. It's you know it's not that hard to avoid. Um, once again, you can't hit him from the back, so don't try. Um, he also does that move, which does a gigantic amount of damage on the higher difficulties. So stay away from that. Um, but as you saw, you can like kind of stun him and he he does like a little uh this little animation where he that you can do that and then you can attack his his soft spot for massive damage uh so he's he's kind of a pushover like to be honest he's really not that hard um like just imagine if i had if i did have one of the stronger keyblades on right um another thing about that vom well he's done <laughs> yeah So, Kyrie's like a lifeless puppet now? Precisely. And her heart was... Taken by the heartless, no doubt. Tell me, what can I do? There are seven maidens of the purest heart. We call them the princesses of heart. Gather them together, and a door will open to the heart of all worlds. Within lies untold wisdom. There, you will surely find a way to recover Kyrie's heart. Now, I'll grant you a marvelous gift. The power to control the heartless. Soon, Kyrie. Soon. So yeah, as they were saying, um, uh, now that your magic is quote unquote as good as Donald's, whatever that means, um, go back to Merlin and he'll actually give you an item. Uh, he'll give you a new Keyblade, which we're about to find out. We're about to find out.
if I can get to him. Oh yeah, and also talk to the fairy godmother because now you have uh, you, you also found another summon. Well, you should have found another summon gem while you were uh, treasure hunting in Monstro's mouth. But um, yeah, talk to Merlin and he'll give you the Spellbinder Keyblade. Um, I forgot the exact attributes of it and I actually honestly should have looked at it while I was making this video, but whatever, sue me. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to quickly show you guys the um, the Genie Summon, which I forgot to do a few videos back. Once again, you know, I don't really do summons, so this will probably be like a once in a... It really will be like a once in a blue moon kind of thing. I only do them during the, the special bosses anyway. And this really dramatic... So yeah, he really doesn't do anything except for that. Does a couple of... couple of um... Bullet, magic bullets I suppose. And then he ends it with a gravity. He does random magic sometimes. Uh, mainly thunder and gravity. Anyway, that's how... That's Genie. You can see why, how useless he is. Um, this is me just getting some magic. And here is the summon that we found in Monstro. Which is none other than Dumbo. Dumbo is actually, I guess in my opinion, a bit more... Um, efficient than Genie. Simply because his, his attack does a shit ton of damage. Especially if you're doing it in, um, in a group of enemies. And um, yeah, that's it. I really don't like summon, so I'm just trying to like get out of here as fast as possible now. And that's that's it for the summons. Yeah. Um, now this is just me wrapping up, doing a bunch of uh, bunch of random stuff, going to the synthesis shop. So I'm ended early here. Uh, end the commentary early here. Uh, so if you guys liked what you saw, you know, leave a comment, maybe. Um, tell me what else you want to see. Uh, if you want to see any, like, um, synthesis shop crap, or if you want to... Um, if you want me to do the Trinities early, I can also do that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, no, I guess that's it. So yeah, enjoy the rest of the video, which is just me like preparing and stuff. And uh, have a good day, I guess. Adios.